Hey, I'm Nathan with Blue Oak. Today we're doing a pretty hazardous removal in a really tight neighborhood on really steep, uneven terrain. We're also doing a pruning job on, on this nice white oak over here. So it's, we've already been on the site for a little over an hour and we're just setting lines. The nightmare of setting lines really, really, really high. But the goal is having a safety line in this chestnut oak that's healthy, which will assist uh, me as I'm climbing this really hazardous dead oak that's leaning over a busy, well, not a busy road, thank God, but leaning over a, a neighborhood road. But it's so high up that we had to tie two of our 200 foot ropes together. We have to call in emergencies, okay? Procedure for that, we cone off the area. Um, now, the struck by potential for today is, is relatively high. Stuff can fall in this vicinity here. We also have a really good tree here that could fail at any point in theory. Um, it's got tremendous decay on the backside, which is the side that's important to hold its lean. So it's leaning that way and the reaction wood that holds the lean has been decayed. We may choose to rig, we may choose to drop into buffers, buffering material, the plywood, the tires. <clears throat> Chainsaw injury potential is reasonable, medium, not, not as high as some jobs, but um, you guys have all got chainsaw pants on, which is, which is a good mitigation there. Our plan is I am going to be lanyarded to this tree as little as possible, actually in the event that it does fail, and then I, if it fails, I'm not gonna be hooked to it. And I'll just swing over to this tree that we have a safety line in. Once it's on the ground, you guys would be in charge of cleaning it up as fast as possible, moving it over so you should have cant hooks on site, on standby. You're gonna have to have your road vests on and the stop and go, the stop and go, that, that, that's good, but it's not, it's not reflective. So the road vest for reflective, um, but also the stop and go, the stop and slow signs. Yeah, and hopefully we won't, you know, have any traffic really back and forth. But if there is traffic while I'm bombing a piece, that has to be stopped before I make my cut. I have to know that I'm clear before I make my cut. So all right, I'm gonna say a prayer and then we'll get to it. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to work. I pray, Lord Jesus, for safety and efficiency and overall job completion with no no issues, if it be your will. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so eventually, Nate climbed this tree here. That's the tree we're gonna fell. And um, we have Old Yeller right here, and Old Yeller is anchored to this tree with a timber hitch. Um, and it's holding, it's holding this dead tree in place so that way if it does happen to uh, fail, it'll give time. It'll give Nate time to swing out, so that way he's not in the way. Jack down there is setting down plywood and the tires, um, so that way it doesn't crack the road. Doug's up there doing his thing. He's been walking. See him right there. Doing safe, doing good.
Lord gave us safety, chunking this thing down so far. We've got a barrier built up in the road. Here. We still got a lot of side lean. We're going to compensate our knot. Try to drop it right in line with our um, with our buffer to protect the road. Slowly grab, slowly back up and grab the tips, or just grab the tip of it there, and then lift up. <clears throat> there you go. <clears throat> Ha, 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 ha. 